Number three, be genuine. Everybody knows when somebody is schmoozing them. Everybody knows when somebody's KPI is networking. <laughs> Everybody knows the minute the business card comes out first. It's like, how, you don't even know what I do. Why would I be interested in your Port Adelaide tin food factory? But that's okay because I might if I knew them as a person. But from what they do at business, I shut down because that's not of interest to me at the moment. But if they came to me as wanting to make a friend, that person's next job could be something or their brother or their sister or their friend or their football club or something else. <coughs> Number four, be there. If you are in the room, be in the room and try to make contact with as many people you feel comfortable doing. It's not about getting a numbers game. It's about, okay, you know what? I reckon I've got the energy to meet two new people today or one new person today or 50 new people today. But at least set yourself the ability to be there. Make sure that you're there. Why spend money on going to an event when it's about networking if you don't network? You've missed an incredible opportunity to meet new, your new best friend. Number five, be more interested in listening than talking about yourself. This one I haven't mastered at all. <laughs> but I have this amazing brain in that I can talk, brush my teeth, text, make lunches, listen, remember things all at the same time. Not everyone's like that. If you switch off and just talk about yourself sometimes but you're not listening to others, then you won't remember something wonderful about them to generate a new conversation. Listening to other people and being interested in listening to other people with eye contact and, and asking more questions and keeping that conversation going is one that is sure to win you new friends. And ultimately, making friends is about networking and networking can turn into business. So making new friends is good for business. And un number six, understand that asking questions makes you a more interesting person. So. If they mention something, try and bring it out of people by asking more questions that are open-ended so they have to reply with a more interesting response than yes, no, maybe. Number seven, be genuinely enthusiastic about other people's ideas and plans, even if you're not, for a little while. They are more likely to be nervous and also in the same position as you and they might just start rambling about technical things that you don't understand. But if you're interested in it and try and divert the subject where you can connect with them, then try and do that. And they will appreciate your feedback on their ideas because when everyone's got a great idea and they're excited about it, they want to share it. And if you knock back that idea, then you're not connecting with them for the next time they have an idea that really, really floats your boat. And number eight, give unconditionally. Don't think about what you might give, you might gain before you give. This is not about, oh, I want that person to advertise in my magazine, so I'm going to go and talk to them. It's not about that. It's about how can I help this person, and then maybe one day that'll turn around the other way. Number nine, be a connector. Freely introduce yourself to other people. This is about, you know, freely introduce people to other people. So I've just met some amazing people today and if I get the chance to be able to go, right, you're in that industry, you're in that, or you also like the voice and you, you like that, so I'm going to put you together. That's what networking is about. It's not about one on one. Number 10, always understand that networking is not about selling but it's about establishing relationships. It's not about selling your product. It's not about selling the next ticket to your show or the next um, you know, event that you've got on. It's about selling yourself and about selling an opportunity to make a new friend. Number 11, appreciate that people do business with those that they like, trust and respect. Number 12, after meeting a new contact, and occasionally exchanging business cards. Don't do what I did drunk the other week. I was so far up myself. I was so drunk and I was at this function and it was not a network work function. I don't get drunk at work functions. Um, no, it was a function, but all functions can turn into business. That's fine. But somebody came up to me and said, oh, you know, I've always wanted to meet you, blah, blah, blah. And I really wasn't in the mood. And they said, oh, do you have a business card? I said, oh, just Google me. <laughs> 
oh, I felt so horrible and I rang that person the next day and I spoke to them and they said, no, I did Google you, it was fascinating and started asking me questions. I was like, oh, okay, so I didn't completely stuff that up, but that's okay. Is, but it's not about exchanging as many business cards, but if you do exchange business cards, make sure that if there was notes in that conversation that maybe you jot them down on the back of that business card when you get in your car before driving home, not if you're drunk, or um, make a note in your iPhone or something like that, that that person's mother was currently in hospital or someone was going on a trip over to Vietnam or something like that so that you can bring something personal back to the next conversation. And it will jog it in your memory when you write it down. Number 13, follow up promptly with the contacts that you made that are important to you moving forward. Don't leave this too long. The harder you leave it, the less you remember about that person. So it's about getting organised, really. I like to sort the business cards in four ways. Priority. First, those whom you want to make contact with immediately, usually within the first 48 hours of the initial contact. The next list should be those that you hope to contact within a week. And the rest are ones that you would like to foster with, but they're not directly involved in your day-to-day -day at the moment, but you put them in the contact within a month pile. And the rest, throw them away. They are not, if you didn't connect with that person on a personal level, you need to meet them in real life, again, before you can develop that relationship. It's not going to happen over email, and it's not going to happen by putting them on your database. Unless you have a personal connection with that person that you want to maintain, it won't happen. It's about making new friends. We've all met lots and lots of people and the first five or six times you met them, nothing. And they end up being your best friend in the end, but it's not, they're not going to be your best friend by ringing them and stalking them or anything like that. Now, number 15 that I say as well is that it's also okay to delegate a business card to one of your staff and your team if it's not a an instant personal connection with someone. Just make sure that if you pass on a business card to a staff or um, somebody else that you know, that you make sure that that person, when they contact them, lets them know where that inquiry came from and so that they can say, you know, I understand that Michaela was chatting with you last night, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes we're all very busy and we don't have time to keep those going ourselves. So delegation is okay. We don't have to do everything ourselves. And 16, Always try to make yourself memorable and distinguish yourself in a positive light. It comes back to people like to do business with people that they like. And two more and then I'm done. I mentioned it just briefly before is don't be a stalker. We all admire persistence and determination. But there comes a point at which these attributes transform into aggravation. And number 18, the final important one for me, go everywhere in life with the intention of having fun. People want to be around upbeat, fun, interesting and interested people. That is what networking is all about. I hope you all make lots of friends today. And if anyone has any questions, I'd be happy to answer them either now or later. So thank you very much for having me. Thank you, Michaela. I think that was really fantastic. And for those of us, and it's many of us, who are actually introverts and who have to learn how to network, one of the things I learned really early on was that confidence is the reward, not a prerequisite. When you go into meeting people, and especially when you're not so sure of yourself as, as some of us who have been in the business for a long time are, you do have to set yourself those targets of saying, I will go into the room, I will go up to someone I don't know and I'll talk to them. Because confidence, if you don't have confidence, the only way to get it is to challenge yourself with those things that you know you're not good at and then it's the reward for doing those things well. So networking I think is especially a good example of that. You actually have to practice and get good at it. So thank you very much Michaela, that was fantastic. And we're going